Hello, uh, uh, editing Lodane here. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just gonna warn you, these first couple days are rough, and I appreciate you sticking out this first one. If you want to know why I have silly eye masks on, and, uh, I don't know, that's, that's a teaser for the next one. That's, you're gonna have to wait until the next one, okay? Uh, did get the Door County coffee in. Have a little advent calendar type of deal over here with it. And it is delicious, but you're gonna have to wait until number two to see that. Because man, day one is a silly, silly wreck. And I, I'm very sorry. We're gonna have shaky cams. We're gonna have like really bad everything, just everything. It's a wreck, so am I. So here we are, just melting into oblivion. Whee! All right, just, just stick it out. Two will be better, I promise. I'm already, I'm a, yeah. Hey, everybody. I didn't know I was going to be filming the intro. Welcome to the intro of the vlog. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be filming the intro in this, like, confessional booth style with the webcam. But, okay, so I've been kind of juggling between this and the digital camera and the phone, trying to figure out which is best. I might just stick to the phone. I'm not sure. We'll see how this works out. But as I warned everyone, this is quick and dirty and I am not good at this yet. But you know, I'm the kind of person who does like National Novel Writing Month and that kind of goofy stuff. So this is just one of those, if I didn't do it, I'd feel weird and just wonder what it was like for the rest of my life to not. Now, to understand today, you have to go back in time, woo, fade to black and white, to uh, a story I've touched on before. So uh, in May 2022, I was injured. I fell down a set of stairs. I jacked up my foot and my ankle, and uh, I've been going to like nonstop doctor's appointments since. Um, in fact, I did a little bit of like proto-vlogging. Uh, when I went to go get my CT scan done, just kind of experimenting with shooting things. Very embarrassing. Hey, I'm in the heart of the Oklahoma City downtown medical district. And that's why you're gonna hear a bunch of city sounds, but there's this just beautiful atrium in the middle of things. Uh, so I thought it was the perfect place to give you guys an update as to what I did today. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. Okay, I hope the wind has died down enough for a moment for me to tell you. I had a CT scan, but I don't have any way of knowing what the results will be um, and uh, in until I go to my orthopedist again. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was so beautiful down here. I've never actually taken an Uber by myself before. I've only ever taken Ubers and Lyfts with other people, and um, so I know it's kind of funny. I've taken unlicensed cabs, but I've never taken an Uber before. Uh, but yeah, so today was the first day I took an Uber down here, and I'm about to get the next one, so to go home. All right, and in case anyone was curious, uh, the reason that I'm taking an Uber today instead of my own car is uh, my ignition's not really working right now and it turns out that it's recalled so I'm going to have to have my car towed to the dealership <laughs> even though it's very old to uh, make them deal with it so until then I'm uh, bumming rides But 
because of the injury, I had a really hard time moving into this apartment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's for bonus fun. I was moving into the apartment when all of this happened. So last night I stayed up way too late, goofing off with this, like, wall thing I got going on behind me, stepping up and down off of the stepladder, hanging things, and um, I jacked up my knee in the process. What I wanted to do today, unfortunately, included a lot of walking, and uh, my pain management has basically been non-existent, and also a piece of masking tape uh, that I was holding in my mouth um, injured my lip. Uh, and, and it kind of looks like I got a fat lip, so, but it, it, uh, sucked. <laughs> Masking tape's not supposed to have that strong of a grip, uh, it's rough. That really messed with me today, that, that really messed with me today, and, uh, I did see the orthopedist on Thursday. Good news is that he finally approved, like, my, uh, pain medication to be, refilled. It's a uh, Neurontin. Uh, gabapentin is the generic name for it and that's what I almost always call it. It is a non-narcotic uh, medication. It's, you know, it's for nerve pain, which I think is silly because like all pain is nerve pain, but specifically for things like neuropathy, like diabetics get those like pins and needles in their toes sometimes, that kind of thing. Uh, for my chronic pain, it really takes the edge off without doping me up, without uh, being addictive. Frankly, since we didn't do what I had planned, it ended up just being some errands being run with one of the nibblings. And that's not super duper exciting. And I'm not uh, a vlogger, so it's hard for me to spice up super duper mundane stuff. Um... So yeah, this week has just been really out of sorts. I mean, it could be worse, but it's just, no matter how much I try to plan, uh, the world is wily, because day one did not go <laughs> as anticipated. Good morning, hello, yes, it is December 1st. It's uh, not gonna be the morning. For too much longer. I stayed up too late last night. I don't have anything resembling a morning routine. I don't even make my coffee the same way every day. But here we are, starting off with a little French press action. All right. Um, so I keep everything in these big containers so everything stays really airtight. Under this light, I can actually still see like the bed lines on my face. <laughs> Cheers. So um, for Vlogmas, I wanted to do some kind of advent calendar and I really couldn't find any that I liked at all. Um, but I did steal Cindy Steez a little bit and I ordered the Door County Holiday Sampler and I think it should be in today, but I'm not making any today because I don't have it yet. God. Transition, now we're in my office. Um, yeah, so I, uh... <laughs> oh, this level of self-surveillance I am not used to. I know that vlogging isn't easy. I also know it's not the hardest thing in the world, but... Look, I'm kind of used to talking to myself, just a little bit, but, uh, this is a weird juxtaposition of, like, me, Narcissus in the mirror, uh, talking to myself and knowing that someone else is gonna see it. <sighs> Why did I sign up for this? Today is the only day of Vlogmas that I had anything planned. 
I was probably a little too ambitious. So I'm really starting off Vlogmas with like a great big bang and a whole lot of whining. And I'm so, I, I, kept, I keep catching myself, like looking over at myself. It's ooh, getting used to this camera, the phone, all of this is going to be um, very interesting. We're on the phone right now and that is probably going to look a lot better than the camera. Okay, hi. Welcome to my messy office. I say again. Um yeah, I'm uh I'm on the desk. This is like the stream uh setup. Thing is that uh every once in a while OBS likes to forget that my microphone exists and so I just recorded this whole thing. <laughs> um just like off the cuff telling you what my morning routine is or lack thereof. Uh, but the sound didn't record. So here we are again. <clears throat> Take two. I don't really have a morning routine. Um, I have a couple rituals that I do. Like, you know, of course, everyone goes to the bathroom, get my coffee. Uh, but beyond that, I hit the mic. But beyond that, every morning is completely different. The desire for a routine that the autism gives me is blown away by the ADHD's uh, seek of dopamine and inability to stick to that routine stuff. So here we are. Absolute chaos in the mornings. So what I'm going to do, uh, instead of like walking you through every single thing I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to take a shower, get dressed, um, rub something on my face. All right, but uh, we'll meet back here, okay? Man, this shit's hard. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun here. Uh, let's see. Made to Israeli media. This is not like Hamas propaganda. Statements from these hostages. You can count on me. Being You're made have good old Rob to uh, talk with, you through in all this. Israeli media. Oh God, I hate uneven time periods like this. Now I have to stay until 48 months, I guess. <laughs> it's true. Once you're, once you're here, you're here forever. Thank you, Lodane, for everything. For 37 months to your one. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. That's uh, how, the, how the, the classic lyric goes. I've had a long day, and I hate the fucking eagles, man. Um, we <laughs> get the fuck out of my cab. Um, we know explicitly that the IDF was told to kill the civilians to prevent kidnapping. Welcome to my car. It's 20 years old. There's the lens. Hi. Hi. We're in the car and I am about to go pick up one of my nibblings and they're going to be my helper for the day because cause the sun's going to disappear soon because of the stupidest... Uh, those of you that don't deal with daylight savings time versus standard time, feel lucky, okay? Because it is so silly. All right, so I just... Damn it. It looks so awful. Like, this camera is really horrifying. <laughs> We're probably gonna run some errands. I don't, I don't know. Um, so, Operation Pick Up the Niece has been successful thus far. <laughs> Though, um, it's hours later now, and uh, she should be coming out the door any second. <laughs> uh, yeah, our plans for today um, are being put off until tomorrow for several reasons. However, uh, we still got some errands to do today, so you're gonna see one of the one of those days. All right. Um, but you know, we, we gotta do them. And uh, I've been really behind on errands since Thanksgiving. Uh, something about missing a few days, being able to do it, just 
wiped me out and I kind of gave everyone their Christmas presents early this year. So I did all that wrapping and shopping and stuff from wall. Uh, but I'm glad it's it's done now. Most of their stuff was um, stuff to keep them warm. So <laughs> I went to get that to them early. Okay, we'll see ya. See ya. Oh my fucking god. Uh, oh no. It's like literally turning into a fat lip. Oh my fucking god. I hate this, like, ah. Uh. You already know. It's post office time. Oh yeah. Yeah, a couple to pick up. I've been ordering stuff lately. Christmas! Okay, here's the payload. It wants to focus. I saw another lady come in with a bunch of packages to drop off, and she had two IKEA bags. We were we were bag buddies. Hold on, hold on. We, we don't want to get no copyright strikes, you know what I'm saying? We're at the pharmacy picking up drugs. Hard drugs. We're gonna... We're gonna do all the hard drugs. Alright, cool. Alright, we're checking in. We made it back to the place. We, uh, got the packages. We got the drugs. We also stopped at McDonald's and got the foods. And... Uh, now we are going to uh, go buy some clothing for the Nisoid and uh, Weirdo in my house. There was else. My brain's just flooded with joy about Henry Kissinger being dead. I can't remember everything. Um. All right. Well. We're uh, gonna go do the clothing thing. And as soon as I remember whatever the hell else we were gonna do. All right, bye! Yay! All right, I remember, I remembered. Uh, when we get back, we'll, uh, we'll look at the packages and see what I got. I don't buy clothes for myself very often. And um, I'm about to go on kind of an experimental phase where I'm not gonna be hopefully buying many clothes or anything I don't really need for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm hinting at a no-buy year, a fucking depth year. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I, I am thinking about it. Plastic Plum, uh, dark denim wash, also black, and we should be having another pair Showing up at some point. Also, I am a millennial with a really, like, I'm a millennial, so I don't need to, like, say more. But as a result, like, we all have, a, like, a really nasty nostalgia bug that we have to fight a lot of the time. And corporations are well aware of that, and they, they take advantage. And, man, I feel had. <laughs> but it didn't cost me much. And... Uh, this is just a little bit of junior high reliving right here, you know? A little, little bit of junior high in the Airwalk shirts. Oh, God, it's seem really nice, though. And they do have, like, the Airwalk on the inside and everything. Like, Airwalk shoes were being carried by Payless forever, just like Mossimo is at Target. Like, these were, you know, big brands. You went down to Gadzooks to buy, you know, uh, when we were in junior high and everything. But, like... So it's like not that big of a deal, but the, 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 the classic logo, but also, and I don't usually go for white shirts, but this was like a twofer deal. Oh my God. Just shit brought so many memories back. And I got those original jeggings that didn't just come in that box. So got a couple t-shirts because I also went through this whole like phase where I don't really want to like wear graphic tees and uh, and um 
I don't know, I guess I'm going through a weird reversal on that right now. One of my favorite sayings, again, I ordinarily wouldn't get a shirt like this, but imagine wearing it with a blazer. Oversized sunglasses, right? You know? Oh, this little darling. And I want you to know, I'm going to wear this year-round. This, this isn't a Christmas shirt. This is a year-round shirt, all right? Um, I got this for a couple reasons, though. One, it was cheap. And two, uh, that's a Journey song, my friends. We all know my friend Cindy loves Journey. Don't stop believe it. I saw them live once. It was it was awesome. Uh, Heart was at the same show. Fucking Heart, dude. Oh man, Worlds Apart. How how do you not like Worlds Apart? You know. Like, wheel in the sky. Oh, man, I'm just going to... When the lights go down in the city. But, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to wear this motherfucker all year round. I don't care. This is, this is wonderful. All right. Uh, got a couple dresses, too. Okay, and I can tell these are not going to really show up very well on camera. If I remember during editing, I will try to, like, take a picture and throw it in here. Um, maybe I'll take pictures and throw them up on Instagram. We'll see. To be honest, they don't look great, like amazing on the hanger. Uh, these are going to be things that accessories, especially like a nice wide belt, uh, are going to do a lot, a lot to like carry it, right? But um, the Walmart had all these like dresses that, in my opinion, the floral ones especially just screamed like trad wife but they were all on clearance so i guess the trad wives didn't buy them they're only nine dollars each this is this one that i'm holding is a black and gray peasant dress i got this in an especially big size so it would be flowy which it's supposed to be um but uh yeah it also has a tiered skirt uh it has a nice weight to it i really like this one this one's longer i i think this is basically gonna hit near my ankles i'm a tall girl so i don't know but man with like a chunky black belt and like the right jewelry and the right shoes really think that like you know nice simple staple uh type dress there this one's a little wilder that one may not have shown up really well here this one's really not to going to the pattern is gonna look really rough in person this is like a crimsony, burgundy uh, fabric, and I don't know. It's just, it's actually really pretty. I'm not usually into florals, but man, this screams like grandma goth. Look at this. And uh, this is all ruching, two-tiered. This is all ruched. Blood red roses on this actual, like, purpley color that blood actually is, you know? I don't know. I really like it. I think it's going to look good. Again, the right accessories, I think, are really going to uh, help me pull that off. I do want to get another like chunky black belt. So, we've gotten t-shirts, we've gotten jeggings, we've gotten dresses. Part of the reason I bought these silly graphic tees is because doing like kind of an inventory of my clothes, and I realized that the majority of the casual wear I owned has been obtained in the last few years and uh it's all merch for the show i produce i know there's a cliche against like wearing a band t-shirt the band you're going to see and i know like people wearing their own merch like i get it but it also is kind of corny especially if that's all you own and on that note i'm about to <laughs> i'm about to order uh or open uh some more merch i ordered there was a big sale on T Public, and that is currently where we have our TRRS stuff. Though I have been meaning to have a production meeting with Rob about us possibly switching to another vendor, because uh, I think it would benefit our viewers a little more. Here we have. Uh, I survived the friendship triangle shirt. Now, this. 
uh, the pattern looks much better in person. It's not really conveying. Because I have like orange and yellow lights in here. Black t-shirt with red and yellow print. I survived the friendship triangle. Reunion at the Ryokong Hotel. July 27th, 2023. Uh, in Pyongyang. So, uh, y'all didn't make it? You didn't, you didn't make it to the friendship triangle? Reunion is wild. It's wild. So I got that one a little more oversized because I really like layering, uh, especially with the merch. I have like undershirts and overshirts galore. That one's going to look really good. Okay. Um, this is a silly, silly nightmare right now. So I'm going to go. Yay. That's the content we got for tonight. I ordered some Door County coffee. And I was planning on using it as sort of an advent calendar because there's 12, but they're pot sized. So it's like, that's like 24. Uh, <laughs> they've not arrived. I, I don't know why. They're supposed to be here by now. So I will be going to the post office again tomorrow before we go do all of this stuff. And I will uh, keep you guys abreast on that. And... Until then, I don't think I filmed an outro. Goodbye. <laughs>to thank everyone for just like bearing with me i know the quality here is going to be a little dicey everything's going to be kind of quick and dirty not as quick as i'd like this time but you know uh i don't know how to vlog but you know i uh i, I barely knew anything about writing when i did nanorimo a uh, national novel writing month the first time it's just the kind of stuff that i do sometimes on a lark to just it's like I'll never know what it was like to not do it if I don't do it. You know, I, I guess a lot of people do marathons and stuff like this on that kind of basis. So, um, but here I am. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, and I will be back tomorrow. Okay, this is a terrible outro already.